This is Andrew. This is Chris. And this is Ava. Sigh. All right. Well, just make sure you stand up straight behind me while I'm delivering the speech. <laughs> no problem. I can manage that much. <laughs> okay, don't, don't oversell yourself, man. Do not commit to things we're not sure you can do. <laughs> and she just, I just love that her Her, her reaction, default reaction is, you're so stupid. It's like, you are such a disappointment. <laughs> Could you at least stand up straight when I'm talking? <laughs> like, is that even... <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ava behind me. This as if, was perfect. It's if she knows I'm going to be a disappointment. I'm going to screw this up, and she can tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I love this game. What? <laughs> she inspected my uniform. Obviously displeased. You should have ironed. Oh my god, yeah, because he just hung up his uniform last night and didn't wash it. It's like been sitting in a ball the entire break. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we need Holloway. I don't want to worry about this crap. Ugh. Ava Wait. begrudgingly grabbed. If he was complaining about how cold the regular outfits are in the winter, how is Holloway going to keep him warm? <laughs> what you don't know is what Hollowear does is it's got like these little heaters and stuff that like shoots shoots warmth down. Ava begrudgingly grabbed onto my tie and started straightening it. She dusted off my uniform and tried to smooth out the wrinkles. I can't believe you call yourself a vice president looking at this. Get vice what? What? How did he get vice president? I assume what? she had to have helped just beat everyone into submission because he's her, she's his best friend? Are you kidding me? <laughs> if I was anyone else, I'd be like, this loser is the vice president of the student council? Really? Excuse me, Prez, but this appearance is merely my strategy to appeal to the common student. Idiot. I I concur. Well, this is the best I can do. Just stay out of the light, okay? All right, all right. Maybe don't stand directly behind her where all the lights are going to be pointing. <laughs> I stood behind Ava as she delivered the opening address to literally no students at all. <laughs> doing my absolute best not to yawn. Wow, he is so terrible. They could not even bother to put students there. Like, really? Being in front of the entire student body, not seen anywhere. I was suddenly filled with the sinking dread that I had left my fly unzipped. Dude, <laughs> what if you're... <laughs> there are so many problems that could occur with Hollowair, and he's, like, all on board. Because all he thinks about is all the problems that can happen to the women's outfits. <laughs> no, no. Ava would have zipped <laughs> zipped the damn thing up herself during the expression if I had forgotten such a pivotal detail. What? Okay, at this point, it's just 100% guaranteed that he forgot. How many times <laughs> has this happened <laughs> that she's zipping up his fly? <laughs> because it's like... <laughs> I hope we can all work together to create a better... Oh, wait, there's no one here. <laughs> This is just for practice speech. <laughs> but what if she forgot to check? She's a girl after all, so the experience of leaving my unfly unzipped would be totally alien for her. Because truly, wow. no one... Because girls are totally inept. And, and and there's never been such a thing as girls clothes with zippers ever. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, they don't need them. You know, they can't... Oh, uh, God. Maybe I should check just in case. No, no. Ava said not to make a fool of myself in front of the entire student body, so I probably shouldn't start playing with my crotch. <laughs> probably true. The student council will always be there to listen. I nervously scratched my forehead and then fondled my chunk. <laughs> what a long-winded speech. Oh, my God. <laughs> with that, on behalf of the entire faculty and staff, I welcome you to Sunrider Academy. It was a very noble presentation. The audience politely applauded. There is no audience! <laughs> 
Woohoo! It's over at last. I withdrew with Ava, thoroughly revealed to be off the stage, immediately checking my pants for an open fly. As soon as the opening ceremony was over, Uh-oh, we're on it was hour. time for We lost classes. an entire hour to speech. No! My entire life is moving! That's it. That's it. The whole year's ruined because I lost that hour. Since Ava was a fourth year now, she went upstairs while I was on the third floor with the rest of the third years. I mean, I yeah. An old Lincoln teacher introduced himself as Mr. Gray and began our class. Intelligence and stress. Makes sense. It's lunchtime. Where should I eat? That's um, a cool looking school. Yeah. I want that school. That's way cooler than the school we went to. Um, that may just be it. You may not pick. It's probably just showing you and then hit the button to... Well... Can you hit, like, the button to advance? Oh. Um... Okay. okay, well, wait. I can eat lunch or I can cancel. Where should I eat? I know that so Wait a minute. Something happened. Are you... Where should I eat? Can you switch... Get it to say something in Courtyard? I don't... I can't see. I know... Something clearly changed when I went to the cafeteria. So, like... I went down, and now the cafeteria appears to be selected. Okay. So, I eating guess the I'm just gonna eat. I want to see if I could go to the courtyard because I'd rather go to the courtyard personally. Okay. Well, we'll figure that Whatever. out. He looks so unbelievably bored. <laughs> Intelligent stress. Now the classes were over. It was time for the student council's first meeting. On the first day. Look here, Cato. This just won't do. <laughs> what? Ava opened a file called Club Reports on her hollow and flipped through uh, page after page of forms. Some of these clubs have not submitted dues or membership reports for years. Ugh, I knew the previous president was lazy, but I never imagined it could be this bad. I could feel my eyes glazing over as I looked through the paperwork. I He's threw my so hands terrible. up. <laughs> Is it really a big deal? As long as people are having fun. I mean, aren't the clubs fulfilling their purpose? Ava stared at me incredulously. <laughs> Which is exactly the same expression she had. <laughs> That's the exact same impression she has literally all the time while talking to him. <sighs> we have to get the clubs into order before anything else. I'm appointing you as the club manager, Cato. Go to the problem clubs and get their issues resolved. Got it? <coughs> club manager? I got slapped with the title you already. already had a title. It was vice president. <coughs> you can't just... Ava crossed her arms as I secretly realized she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> because she's president. Or you can just help me fill out these equipment use forms. A terrifying stack of paperwork sat beside Ava. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll go do figure the clubs. out what's wrong. I'll, I'll do the clubs. Yeah. Good. I looked through the club reports on my hollow. It seemed like there were three problem clubs. The Kendo, Science, and Swim Clubs. Looks like I'll be managing the three of them. You can see the club report on your hollow. Each club has three stats. Member count refers to the number of clubs. Readiness refers to the current ability of clubs to perform their actions. Morale refers to the happiness of the club's members. Clubs require um, readiness to win competitions and bring prestige to the school. However, gaining readiness drains morale. The club's morale. Wait, wait, I didn't think I was managing the whole club. So I this is was actually like, I like actual just, sim to this. Not I thought they just had to do their stupid dues. Yeah. What is this crap? <laughs> I think multiple members multiplies the club's readiness. However, chances to recruit new members does not come often. Managing each club stats is the key to bringing a successful club manager. Do your best. Well, 
Let's check out the Kendo Club first. That's interesting, though. I was not expecting it to have, like, actual, like, simulation type stuff. I entered the Kendo Dojo and saw a girl just about to leave. Hey, are you in the Kendo Club? Uh, I'm the new manager at Student Council. <laughs> she eyed me suspiciously if it's not somehow already the bad guy. So I take it you're going to do uh, Oscar here. <laughs> I'm here to talk about the dues for your club. The Imperial Tax Collector has arrived. <laughs> she bolted. Um, while I was firmly opposed to the notion of running a random girl down, I instinctively gave chase. I was firmly opposed, but I totally did it. All right, that's the end of this episode. Hey, wait! <laughs> <laughs> will, will we catch up? I guess that'll be the cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time.